Welcome back to Hamilton Life. We've heard over and over again how important healthy eating is. Yeah, we know, but we don't do it all the time. Uh, and plus, it seems like we've got less time to actually prepare meals, right? Much less eat them. Sarah Frenza, you are a nutrition body expert. Yes. You're going to show us the way of protein, which yes. is something for some reason... <laughs> women don't get enough of. They don't. Um, so when a lot of women come to us, this is the first thing that we notice when they come to us for help. Because they're, what are they thinking? They're thinking low fat, they're thinking... Low car no carbs, they're just thinking about cutting calories in order to, you know, a lot of women come to us because they want to lose weight, but they don't really understand the importance of protein and what that role plays in helping them with their body composition goals. So we're talking meat, fish, uh, certain dairy products, protein powders. Yeah. Why is it important? So there's a few reasons, but let's talk about the number one reason why protein is important. It's the building blocks to helping us build lean muscle and also preserve lean muscle. So we know that around age 30, because of lifestyle, we start losing lean muscle mass unless we're strength training and unless we're eating enough protein in our diet. So between the ages of 30 to 80, we actually lose anywhere between 30 to 50% percent of our muscle. So we need the protein daily because our bodies cannot store protein to help us at least preserve lean muscle mass. So that is the number one reason why we need protein in our diets. Now, I've, another big reason why is that it helps with body composition. So if we've got more muscle on our body, that means we're carrying less body fat. So if you're going Because if you have more muscle, it actually burns calories. Exactly. Faster. Yes, exactly. So you're boosting your metabolism. So, and this is the biggest thing that we talk about with women is that don't be afraid of, st of strength training. Don't be afraid of lifting weights. You're never going to look like a man. Never. You'll never look <laughs> no. like a man. You will never look like a man. You'd have to, you would have to quit your job <laughs> and only strength tra train all day, and you still won't look like a man. No, um, and unless you're, you know, taking things to, to make yourself look like that. But naturally, no. But what you will look like is very toned, very defined, and you're going to have an incredible body composition, meaning that you're not carrying a lot of body fat. You're carrying a lot of lean muscle, which is going to make you look really great in your clothes at the end of the day. So there are big difference between weight loss and fat loss. Breakfast seems to be a tough time to get protein. Maybe yes. you don't have the time to make some eggs and bacon or uh, eat l last night's steak or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so we tend to rely on those quick carbs in the morning, yes. which is not the best way to start your day. No, So how not. do we get protein into our morning meal? So um, I like, I always recommend an easy breakfast like this. This is uh, overnight oats and uh, we've got a protein coming from Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. So we can make this today, but we're also getting protein from a scoop of protein powder. I like diesel protein powder because it's very clean. It's a whey isolate, so there's no carbs, no fats. It's a 100% pure uh, protein source. And the whey isolate, that I, uh, if I understand it correctly, even if you've got a sensitivity to dairy, you can probably handle the whey yes, isolate. It's that's correct. The pure, it's just the protein molecule. That's Your body correct. knows how to use it, right? That's correct. So uh, it depends on each person in terms of what type of they're, they're, they're allergic to or have sensitivity to, but most of the time they can handle the whey isolate. Mixes in with the stuff great too. Exactly. Okay. So let's uh, make this. I'm going to show you how easy it is. What I like about this is that you can make this for the whole week. Like busy moms come to us. I'm like, you know what? Prep this for the whole week and put them in little jars or containers. Your breakfast is done. This is going to give us uh, over 40 grams of protein. Nice. Okay. So when we're starting our day with per 40, serving per serving nice. yes okay so when we're starting our day with this much protein guess what we're staying we're staying full we're staying satiated we are not going to overeat in calories no you actually uh, can i put this in here yeah, what's the start. first thing yeah let's put that in okay yeah you, you actually stop thinking about food Right? It, yeah. It stops being the thing you're, that's on your mind constantly. Well, because it helps regulate blood sugar levels as well, too. So when we're digesting protein, a few things interesting with when we're digesting protein, it slows down the digestion process. Um, next, we're going to add some oats. Um, all the, the whole thing? Yeah, add all of them. That's a half a cup of oats. We did about a cup of uh, Greek yogurt in here as well, too. Um, so it helps stabilize blood sugar levels. So um, that will prevent you from overeating or snacking throughout the day. This is a scoop of diesel protein powder. It's Here's vanilla. The, oh, oh, sorry, I moved on you. Yeah. There's the protein powder. There you go. 
Yeah. Again, that's not dried milk. That's the specifically just the protein molecule, right? That's correct, yeah. And then it's got mm -hmm. flavoring in it. So diesel has lots of different flavors, and that's why I love them. Uh, next, we're going to add some coconut. So this is unsweetened shredded coconut that we're going to be adding to this. So this is actually considered a fat. Some people like to put peanut butter in there. They like to put almond butter. Um, next, let's put... Fat is also good for helping keep us less hungry, right? Um, yes, protein has a better role in doing that okay. because it keeps us more full and more satiated, but we want to be having healthy fats as well too. This is another common thing women want to do is eliminate the fats. Fats are important for our hormones, okay? Our hormones are made out of fat. So if we're over the age of 40, we're going through perimenopause and menopause, it's important that we are eating fats in our diet to Your support body will hormonal thank health. Thank you for that. Absolutely. So next let's add a, uh, I'll do this part so we don't, I'll do, we're going to do a teaspoon of vanilla extract in there. So if you're feeling like a raging lunatic, <laughs> check to see if maybe your hormones are out of balance, right? That could, be, that could be it too. The other thing is if you're constantly craving sweets and you're constantly craving carbs, Try eating a lot more protein. Bingo. This is the number one thing that our clients come to us. They're like, oh, I don't crave sweets anymore. I don't crave, you know, going for those snacks all day long. Well, it's because we're eating enough protein in your diet. We've got about two minutes left. Okay, so let's put that in there. This would normally sit overnight, right? That's correct. So Can we're going to stir it. Stir it up. Yeah, stir it all up. So the uh, oats that will absorb the almond milk, that's what we put in here right now, is unsweetened almond milk. And then uh, you want to keep it overnight. Actually, the longer you let it sit, the better it tastes. So day three, day four, yeah, bonus. Yeah, it does. So the next thing we're going to add is some raspberries to it. All right. Wee. So a lot of times what you could do is make them in these mason jars and you can just put the lid on, stir it around, put them in your fridge. Now you've got breakfast done for the entire week. My other go-to breakfast that I love teaching our, our clients to do is to make protein muffins. They smell amazing. Yeah. They are really can good. Can I have one? Yeah, you oh. can totally have one. Can you one. talk about them while I eat them? Yes, you go ahead. So these are pumpkin protein muffins. So typically four of these is one breakfast serving. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, protein in there. You've got carbs in there and um, this will give you about 35 grams of protein to start your day okay Amazing. so if you are a woman that's about 140 gram 140 pounds let's talk about how much protein people need right so on average it's about one gram of protein per one pound of body weight so if you're a woman 140 pounds you want to aim for about 140 grams of protein that's 35 grams per meal if you're having breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and a snack. That's doable. That's yeah. totally doable. Um, and Or if you are 180 pounds and your ideal weight is 140 grams, then you can go by ideal weight. Oh, so if you're trying to lose weight, yes. eat, the, eat for the pounds you want to be. Exactly, oh. the ideal. <laughs> The ideal body weight, because it, it's it'll be hard for somebody to eat 180 grams of protein, especially a woman. So we could do 140, um, you know, depending on what their goals are, maybe get them up to 150, 160. But we help our clients do that when they come to us. So protein muffins are a great way to start your breakfast. You get them done for the whole week. You just grab and go for your family. Delicious. Um, uh, we'll talk about these, the protein balls. Those are really great for a snack. So you can have, you know, three of these. That'll give you 30 grams grams of protein. What? Um, yeah, so really high protein pro, um, recipes that we have. This is a fan favorite amongst my clients. This is buffalo chicken dip. So it's tr shredded buffalo. Uh, we're using Greek yogurt, cream cheese, a little bit of cheddar cheese, and then I love these. Have you ever had these before? They're like, they're crispy, right? They're brogies. They're called brogies. They're co popped corn or wheat. You, you could choose. We only have 30 okay. seconds. Yes. These recipes yes. are available to our viewers right now. Yes, it is. Okay, so you're going to go to my website. It's at sarahfriendsoffitness.com. You're going to go to the Hourglass Body Blueprint. It's got 10 resources in there, so a meal plan, recipe book. You're going to get that all for free, so we'll, go to my website. We'll have her back. We'll do more recipes. Yes, Thank indeed. you so much.